everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Drew, and I'm back today with another video. So, as y'all can see from the side down below, today I'll be telling y'all how to survive those nasty stinking dirty college community bathrooms y'all if i don't know if i talk if i talked about this before on my channel but i hated the fact of having to be in a community bathroom i did not want to do it i was so against it i wanted to have my own room my own bathroom all of that but there was a really good opportunity at uga for me to be in a living a living learning community that was in a building that had community bathrooms so I decided to just suck it up and deal with it. A lot of people that were older than me said that it actually does teach you a couple things. Like, you just learn how to be a better person and all of that stuff. It And it humbles you as well when you're in a community bathroom. So, I just dealt with it. So, I want to let you guys know how to survive those nasty, stanky, dirty college community bathrooms. And in this video, I'm just going to be telling you guys the essentials that you need, everything that... I think you should need on top of some things that you don't necessarily need but will make the experience better for you in community bathrooms because trust me thousands hundreds of people have been in them before so there is a way for you to get over that whole experience as well so the first thing that I would say that you need and I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this is is shoes now I'm not saying shower shoes right now because I'm talking about the community bathroom all together you need shoes in the community bathroom you do need shower shoes as well, but there were many times that I went to the bathroom and I saw girls in there not wearing shoes. And I'm not even talking about the showers, I'm talking about in the regular areas, using the bathrooms, using the sinks. And it's like, yeah, I know you want to feel like you're at home and stuff, but y'all, there are a lot of stuff that goes on on those floors. Like, yeah, our, um, our custodial staff, they do go in and they actually clean the place and all that, but you know, as it goes on, dirt does get in there. There is shed hair that's on the floor. There are bugs on the floor, living bugs, dead bugs that have been on the floor. There are bodily fluids on the floor. There um, are people that throw up on the floor. So I don't think that you wanna have your bare feet on the floor. So I would always make sure you are wearing something in between your feet and the floor so you do not catch something being in those bathrooms because that'd be the worst thing to catch something in those bathrooms because they are disgusting. So also speaking to the showers, you do wanna make sure you have shower shoes. But I would not say go expensive or do anything crazy with them because you do want to throw those away to be safe. I don't think they get to throw them away every single day, but you could throw them away either at the end of the fall semester and get new ones for the spring semester, or you could just throw them away at the end of the year and get new ones for the next year because those shoes can have so much bacteria built up on it that you do not know of. You wanna make sure you're throwing those away. And also with shower shoes, just get whichever ones you find, get some cheap ones. I personally like the regular flip flops that you probably saw in my dorm tour that were on the floor. I got those from Old Navy when they usually do their $1 sale because I usually have them anyway. So I, I had a whole bunch of flip flops and I just took them since I wasn't wearing it at the house anyway. I would not suggest getting the um, shower shoes that have the holes in the bottom. You can get them if they make you feel better. But I've heard from a lot of people that when you wear them and there is water on the floor, when you go and you're walking, that water like splashes up on you. You don't know where that water has been or even if you're in the shower and that water is dirty, you don't want that dirty water on your feet. So I would just suggest staying away from those. If you want to, you can, but I would stay away from them in order to have something that really keeps all the water from the floor, not on your feet. So yeah, make sure you have shoes in the community bathrooms because if you don't have shoes, disgusting the next thing that i would say is music of some sort you can have a speaker you can have headphones anything you can play it out your phone but i would say you want music while you are in the community bathrooms i play a lot of music at night when i was doing my nighttime routine and when i was showering because i just did not want to feel like i was in a community bathroom like yeah i'm there i know i'm there but i want to feel like i'm somewhere else so i can enjoy the moment a little bit better and it won't feel as bad. So I was always blasting music in my on my speaker because I didn't want to feel like I was in a dirty bathroom. So that's what I would say for you as well. Make sure you have some music that can make you feel better and enjoy the moment and not really notice 
how dirty the bathroom is so you don't like you have a better experience while you're in the bathroom so yeah make sure you have some music I know a lot of people went in there with headphones a lot of people had um, speakers as well but also make sure that you know that if you are in the bathroom and you hear someone else that is playing music yes you can play your music as well but don't try to like overpower them because that just makes it a whole difficult situation and I'm pretty sure they will respect you as well but don't like try to overpower someone else's music the next thing that I think you guys should have to survive the community bathroom are pump bottles so this mainly pertains to what you have in your shower caddy if you watched my what is in my shower caddy video you will see that I had a lot of things in pump bottles. So my soap was in a pump. A lot of my face washes were in pumps. And that helps mainly for when you're in the shower. You, I know some people do use bar soap as well, but I like liquid soap. I would say if you are someone who does liquid soap, please get it in a pump. Because you don't want to be that one that is trying to get something out of their shower caddy. You get your soap or whatever it may be that you're getting out of your shower caddy and you try to um, open it and it falls on the floor or you try to close it or you try to put it back and it falls on the floor and now you're disgusted by a dirty bottle that was just on the floor and when you have the pump bottles it also makes it easier to get in and out in the bathroom you don't have to waste more time trying to open something carry it or whatever all you gotta do is take your lupa or your rag over to your pump bottle pump it a couple times and you're done you don't have to take anything out or anything like that so it keeps you from having to touch and do more stuff while you're in the bathroom and if whatever soap that you like doesn't have a pump bottle i'm pretty sure that you can find pump bottles on amazon and you can just take whatever product you have put it in the pump bottle and you'll be fine to make your experience a little bit more better when you're in the community bathroom the next thing that i would say that you need that i'm also pretty sure that you know that you need is a shower caddy you want to make sure you have a shower caddy. You do not want to be the one that's carrying all 50 million of their products over to the bathroom, possibly forgetting something, possibly dropping something on the floor. So I went in to make sure you have a shower caddy. I left all of my stuff in my shower caddy. So my face stuff is in there, my toothbrush is in there, my shower stuff is in there, everything is in there. Even if I'm not going into the bathroom to brush my teeth at the moment, I still have that in there so that I do not forget it just in case. Even if I'm going into the bathroom and I'm not really washing my face at the moment I still have that stuff in there so everything is there I'm not forgetting anything and also when it comes to shower caddies make sure you guys talk to upperclassmen or figure out what type of bathroom that it will be because the whole mesh versus the hard plastic shower caddies I had a hard plastic shower caddy just because I felt more sanitary with that instead of having to put my instead of having to put like a mesh shower caddy on the floor or somewhere for that mesh to then soak up the bacteria but i do know that a lot of bathrooms do have hooks so please ask please ask upperclassmen what the bathroom shower situation looks like so if that does have hooks then the mesh shower caddy may be better so you could hook it up onto something but if there is no hooks then you don't want to be stuck with the mesh shower caddy that you then have to put on that dirty floor that will then pick up more bacteria so those are my main essentials that you would need to make your community bathroom experience a little bit better now on to some other things that are kind of like you don't really need it but it can make it a more enjoyable experience so one of the first things is a toilet seat liner this is actually something that I didn't really think of I know my mom said something about me getting it before but I didn't really think too much about it and then I saw one of my friends on my hall she had some in her room all the time and I thought that was a really smart thing because you want to have some protection you don't know like yeah you know people on your hall but at least at UGA there was a lot of girls on our hall all sharing that one bathroom and because there are many floors as well if your bathroom is closed or if, even if you're just visiting a friend on a different floor you might use another floor's bathroom so just if you want to have a more sanitary experience you can always bring the toilet seat liners I'm pretty sure you can buy them on Amazon or from any other place and just put it on the toilet just as a another protection in between you and who knows who else was there before you <laughs> the next thing that I would say that is kind of like a luxury sort of item that you can have you don't really need but it makes the experience better for you and for anyone else is poopery or some sort of spray I'm pretty sure you guys have probably heard of this before if you haven't poopery specifically is a brand that makes this spray that you spray in the toilet either before or after you do what you have to do 
and it keeps that scent of whatever it is in the toilet and not like fuming out everywhere else that would make the experience so much better for you well if I don't know if it's for you, but it would make the experience so much better for anyone else coming in after you. Okay, so at this age, I'm pretty sure that you guys already know what your body does, the sense that your body makes, and you just want to make the experience more enjoyable for others because the bathroom doesn't get cleaned 50 million times a day. It gets cleaned once, maybe twice a day. So if you do what you gotta do, you don't want someone else to come in and then have it a worse experience because of whatever scent you left behind. So keeping around poopery or keeping around some Febreze spray, whatever you need to do to make sure that whatever you did doesn't like linger on in the bathroom, that is also something that would make the experience better for you and for other people. And the last thing that you do not need, but it is something that can make the experience more better is either Lysol wipes, disinfectant wipes, or some sort of like disinfectant spray. So if you are one of those people that do want to make sure that everything is clean when you're going into the bathroom, it does not hurt in keeping some disinfectant wipes or some disinfectant spray so you can spray on whatever it is, wipe it down so that you know that it's clean for yourself. Because like I said, you don't know who's in there before. You don't know what they have. You don't know what they were doing before. So just, if you wanna stay safe as well, make sure you bring those things so you can just clean it off if you want to. You do not have to, but if you want to take that extra step, that can make the experience so much better. So that is my video for today. That is everything that I think that you would need to have a better community bathroom experience while you're in college. I will be making another video soon about the my different tips and tricks on how to also make that experience better that doesn't involve the types of stuff you need but like things that you should do and etiquette all that sort of stuff so in order to see more of those videos make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell see more about that and also to see more about my college experience everything that i'm doing in life and all of that and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at I am so you can see more about me, more about what I'm doing, the behind the scenes of all these videos, and have more input on what I do on this channel. And remember that I love you guys. And my name is Sincerely Drew, and I will see you in the new video. Bye.